This iOS app is generating $170,000 a month, and I legally copied and built it without writing a single line of code using only AI. Now, what if I told you that anyone, you, could create an app just like this too? I took this popular habit tracker app, I copied all of its features, I added Stripe payment processing to make money right away, and I did all of this without knowing how to code. Custom reminders, progress tracking, streaks even, everything the original $170,000 app offers is here in my version too. And the secret? Well, I discovered the most powerful AI coding tool available to us right now, which built this entire app for me in a fraction of the time it would take a whole team of developers. Now in this video, I'll show you exactly how I did it so that you too can create your own profitable app without writing a single line of code. So let's go ahead and get started. The AI tool that we're going to use is Replit. And with my code Mikey, M-I-K, EY, you'll get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description down below. Now there's something about getting your life in order that just hits different. Whether it's sticking to a new habit, setting a goal, or just trying to feel like you're not winging it every day. You know what I mean? It all starts with structure. So that's what we're going to be building here. I'll type in this prompt, build a responsive habit tracker app that helps users build new habits, reach goals and organize their routines. Include user sign up and login, a clean and modern landing page that highlights features like habit tracking, progress stats, goal setting and analytics. Then after that, let's click start building. And once our request goes through, we can hit the approve plan and start button to begin building the app version. Now I'm seeing a preview of what the agent is putting together. And as you can see, it's building out a fully interactive version already. And this first First version includes a clean landing page with subtle animations. There's also a title header, a quick description, and a call to action button. It also highlights the main features of our app, showing testimonials, and also ends with a solid CTA section at the bottom. One of the first things any serious app needs is a way for users to sign up and log in. And without that, there's no real personalized experience, no real connection to the features we're building. So, of course, I'm going to start by giving our Replit agent this prompt. Add user authentication. After login and sign up, users should be directed to a dashboard where they can find the central hub of features. And with that in place, let's try registering a new account. So I'm going to enter the name, username, email, and password as usual. But as you can see, after submitting the form, nothing happens. The screen doesn't take me to the dashboard, which is what it's supposed to do. Now, now, what we're going to do here next is just simply head back over to the Replit agent. And as you can see here, there's a message. Is the authentication and dashboard working correctly? I'll respond with no. All right, trying it again. Nope, it's still not working. So I'm going to head back to the Replit agent again to sort this out. And this time I'll just reply with no. Even if I try registering a different account, it still won't redirect me to the dashboard properly. So yeah, I'm I'm just going to go back to Replit agent again and ask it to fix it. Eventually, the logic gets cleaned up. And from this point forward, whenever I do register or log in, I'm correctly taken to the dashboard, the central space where all the core features live. And when I log out, I'm smoothly returned to the landing page, which wraps up the flow the way it should have worked from the beginning. All right, guys. So I've been building all these apps with AI, right? Right. And here's the thing. When you're scraping data or you're testing your apps globally, you are going to hit some walls, geo blocks, rate limits, all that annoying stuff. And that's where data impulse comes in. I've been using them for all of my latest builds and honestly, game changer. They've got 17 million IPs across 195 locations, and that's insane coverage for any app that you're building. But here's the benefit. It's literally just $1 for one gigabyte. No monthly subscriptions, no BS expiration dates. You pay for what you use and that's it. Mobile proxies? 
$2 per gigabyte. Compare that to other providers charging 10 times more. It's crazy. I'm using these for web scraping, testing my apps from different countries, and collecting data for those AI projects that we build on my channel. Setup takes like two minutes, and their support, actual humans, 24-7, not some chatbot. All right, look, if you're serious about scaling your apps and making serious money, you need Data Impulse. Links in the description below, $1 for one gigabyte, no joke. All right, let's go ahead and get back to building the app. Now that the basics are working, it's time to add the feature that really does make this app useful, habit creation. And I want our users to fully customize the routines that matter to them. So I'm gonna start by typing this prompt into Replit. Add a feature in the Today tab where users can create custom habits by naming them, setting how often they occur, daily, weekly, or specific days, choosing reminder times, and selecting a color and icon for each habit with rating the difficulty or importance of the habit. I'm gonna try adding a new habit now. So I click on this create your first habit button and yeah, an option pops up. But again, as you can see, the layout's all messed up. It's not responsive at all. Again, I'll just head back to Replit and type. The pop-up option should be fully responsive for desktop or mobile view. And now that that part's working, I can actually customize the habits. I can add a name, a description, set how often I want to do it. I can even choose a difficulty level and pick a color or icon for each one. It's pretty neat. Now to make sure everything connects properly, I'll also send another prompt. All created custom habit details should reflect in the today's habits section. All right, so let's add one more habit. And just like that, it pops up in the daily view, showing even in a specific color. And once we've done this habit, all we have to do is just click the little circle to check it off. Simple, easy, and clean. Now creating habits is one thing, actually sticking to them is a whole different ball game. Without a proper way to track progress, our motivation could drop fast. And that's why the next feature we're adding is all about making the tracking experience visual, interactive, and easy to follow. So to kick that off, let's go ahead and go back to the REPL agent and prompt, create a tracking screen that shows a calendar view of habit completion, a daily and weekly checklist of habits, a street counter that tracks consistency, quick check buttons to mark habits as done or partially done, and visual feedback for completion. And after that, when I head back over into the all habits section, it shows all the habits, whether they're daily, weekly, or monthly. And I click the track button to check the progress. Now, everything shows up, but I can see a couple of issues here. As you can see, first, I'm not able to mark any of the habits as done. Second, the calendar layout just doesn't look right. It's not visually appealing or clear to me, and I wanna fix that. And we'll do that by going back to the Replit agent, select the mark as done element using the element selector, and send this exact message. The quick check buttons to mark habits as done is not working. Please fix this, make it fully functional, add visual feedback of completion using green check marks, and the calendar view should be in a modern design for a monthly overview of completion. All right, so now let's check out the calendar view again. And this time, the calendar definitely looks cleaner, and I can see green check marks integrated into the layout. But there's still one problem. When I click the mark as done button, I get a message saying habit marked as complete, yet no visual change actually happens. It's a little confusing. No check mark, no update. So the Replit agent follows up with a prompt asking me if it's working, and I'm going to respond. The mark as done button has no response when clicked. Okay, so now when I mark the habit as done, the button actually gives me some visual feedback, which is nice. And it updates the completion rate too. I can also see that change reflected in the calendar view. Once tracking is in place, it's time to make that progress feel real. And there's something powerful about seeing how far we've come. It keeps our users motivated coming back and build momentum using our app. So I move on to the analytics section and give the Replit agent this prompt. Show progress with heat maps that highlight completed days, success rate percentages, street calendars to visualize ongoing habits, and performance analytics that show how users are improving over time. Now, after running that prompt, I will check out the analytics section. New sections have been added, and every feature that I mentioned in the prompt 
prompt is now in place. Okay, so daily habits are great for structure, but long-term goals are what gives those habits meaning. So the next feature I wanna add in our app focuses on connecting the small steps to the bigger picture. So let's send this prompt to the Replit agent. Allow users to create long-term goals and connect them to their habits. Include milestone tracking, progress bars towards goal completion, and achievement system with badges and automatic updates based on link daily habits. And it's also added to new sections, goals and achievements. We can set our own goals now, and then all of our achievements are neatly organized in this one place. Super helpful for staying motivated. As our list of habits grows, keeping things organized becomes more important. So I'm going to head back to the all habits section to add a new feature that makes everything easier to manage. I'm just going to drop this prompt in for the Replit agent. Let you users group habits into custom categories like health, productivity, or learning, display each category with its own stats, and allow users to filter or view habits by category. All right, so check this out. Here's what happens now. If I add a new habit, a category section appears. I can choose one right there, and it should show up on the habit page. And the same thing goes for when I manually add a habit. The category section shows up again. So I select one, and yep. There it is, everything's working exactly how it should. Now that most of the features are in place, it's time to make the dashboard more informative. And what I wanna do is give our users a clear picture of how they're actually doing. So first thing I do is drop this prompt into the Replit agent. In the dashboard section, add a full analytics that shows the success rate of each habit and category, identifies best and worst performing habits, displaying time-based trends and highlighting correlations between habits for deeper insights. All right, so now on this page, you can see it's not showing all the saved data. It's kind of missing the bigger picture. So I'm going to head back to the Replit agent. But this time, I'm going to switch up the prompt a little bit. Here's what I'm going to send. In the dashboard, add an analytics section. Show the success rate for each individual app and for each category. Highlight the best performing and and the worst performing habits. Display graphs or charts that show trends over time, daily, weekly, monthly. Show insights or patterns that reveal how different habits are connected, like if completing one habit often leads to another. All right, so now the section's been updated and it looks pretty good. The layout is clean and it actually shows me useful progress and insights based on my habits. We get success rates for each habit, performance by category, time-based trends, and even some cool correlations between habits. Now, if I click on view full analytics, it takes me straight on over to the full analytics section. Tracking progress is great, but sometimes it helps to write things out, especially when it comes to goals and our habits that are tied to personal growth. So inside the goals section, I'm gonna send this prompt into the Replit agent. Here in the goals section, add a journaling feature where users can write daily reflections collections, attach notes to specific habit completions, and document obstacles they face. Include a searchable archive of all journal entries. I'll use the element selector here and then hit enter to submit. Okay, so now I'm going to try logging in or signing up for my account. And once I'm in, I'll start by adding a habit. Then if I head over here to the goal section, I can see the app now includes a basic journal entry feature. And yep, it is fully operational too. Now with all of our core features working, it's time to turn this into a real business by setting up payments. I'm going to ask the Repl agent to integrate Stripe and create a dedicated pricing page with two plans. Now the free plan gives our users access up to three habits, basic statistics, and daily reminders. You know, just enough to get started. And then there's the pro plan for $4.99 a month, which unlocks everything. Everything that we've talked about, unlimited habits, advanced analytics, custom reminders, habit categories, and priority support. I also make sure there's a subscribe button that links to Stripe checkout and that our users on the free plan do see those upgrade prompts if they try to access more pro features. And to make Stripe work, I'll go to the Stripe dashboard and grab the secret key and public key from the developers tab. I'm going to copy them both and paste them into
into to Replit. Next, let's try to register a new account. And after signing up, I'm redirected to the dashboard and it shows that I'm on the free plan with the three limited habits. So let's try adding a new habit, then hit the upgrade button. It takes me now to the pricing page where I can see the $4.99 month pro plan with all of its features. And clicking upgrade to pro opens my Stripe checkout. And here I can enter my payment details to subscribe to that pro plan. And after my payment goes through, I can return to the app. So I'll go back to the Replit agent and then I'll add the Stripe price ID, which we can get from the Stripe product catalog by creating a product, adding the pricing details, and then copying the ID over into Replit. So now with all of that done, we'll just go ahead and try subscribing again. But as you can see, I'm still not upgraded. So again, I'm just going to go back to Replit and prompt to make sure that after a successful payment, the app automatically upgrades our user to the pro plan and unlock all the pro features. It should also check the user's current plan status to ensure that pro content is only available to subscribers. So now with all of that done, we'll just go ahead and try subscribing again. But yeah, it's still not working. So I think I'm going to have to dig a little bit deeper. Now Replit is asking me to enter the Stripe webhook secret key. Ah, there it is. So to do that, I'll click the link which takes me straight to the Stripe webhook dashboard. And from there, I will hit add destination, choose checkout.session.completed, and then click continue. Then under webhook endpoint, I will add the endpoint URL and hit create destination. And once that's done, I can find the signing secret right here. And we're just going to click reveal, copy the secret key and paste it back into Replit. And finally, this time everything clicks. That's what we had to do. And after a successful checkout, the app upgrades my account to pro. A pro badge appears and every premium feature is finally unlocked. The subscription flow is finally working end to end. And just like that, we've cloned a $170,000 a month app without having to touch a single line of code. And if you've ever thought that building an app was out of reach for you, now you know better. Because with the right AI tools, we can launch our own startups. We can automate the hard parts and start making money again without having to write a single line of code. And if you found this video helpful, please do hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more AI builds just like this, and also drop me a comment below with the next app you want to see cloned. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and watching this video. I'll see you at the next one.